Hello friends and welcome. It is wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax, continuing the uh, YouTube Mordheim League, and today I'm playing against Darren with the 33rd of foot. So uh, I've not faced off against Darren yet. I think this should be a pretty good match, and we'll jump right into deployment. I was just waiting to click in until we were prepared. So uh, one thing, oh my gosh, holy crap, that deployment zone though. <laughs> oh, this wow. is new to me. Yikes. It's, it's almost hard to see what's going on. This this map looks... Oh, okay. I was, I was looking at the wrong... I was like, this map looks it, tiny, and then I, I realized I was scrolling to the wrong side of the screen. And yeah, there's then, a lot of space elsewhere. Yeah, but all of the resources are concentrated right here on the right side of the map. Yep. All around, all around poor little old me. <laughs> so what you were saying about... Um, Sometimes uh, strategy games will pad the numbers for AI to make them sort of the easy way to make them more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually do that in Mordheim. They, the uh, opponent gets a slight boost. Oh, wow. I, uh, I don't get to pick where I choose. It, the map picks for me on this, oh. on this setting. Huh. That's strange. I, uh, Braskis and I had that same problem where I got to deploy, but he wasn't able to. I think it's built into the deployment. It's the uh, mm. part of the Horrors of Mordheim scenario. Okay. So I will, uh, I'll take what I'm given and like it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. All right, he's there, he's there. This may not. <sighs> All right. I never quite feel satisfied with my deployment, uh, you know, <laughs> after it's done. Like, when you're going through, you're like, oh, this looks good, that looks good. But then when, as soon as I get done, I'm like, mm, <laughs> wait, damn a, it. Take this backsies. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Take backsies. Yeah. Everyone's in the wrong position. <laughs> All right. Going to go straight for a little weird stone here right off the back. Or word stone, I, I suppose. It's a good thing to do. I, I so far I've barely gotten any uh, up you know, until this point. It's interesting because the match I lost against Braskis, he won, but we both had two guys out of action. And uh, where are you getting that from? Well, nowhere in particular. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we both lost two guys, and and uh, everyone recovered. Nobody got uh, permanent damage. Wow. Um, which is in and of itself pretty impressive. So I lost the match, but I actually came out ahead with Wordstone because I had some on me when I lost the match. So I ended up like kind of, I lost, but I really kind of won. Yeah. Because nobody got hurt and I had more Wordstone, so. That's always, that's always nice. Which is not your typical, usually when you lose, you really do actually lose. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I'm on a timer, so I can't take too long. I've only seen the timer come into play a, once or twice out of my three games I've had so far. You know, it comes in more when you delay because it picks up where you left off after you delay. Ah, uh, gotcha. So that's a thing. Yeah, ne never really done delay that much. I usually don't. Yeah, it's probably kind of uh, some of the stuff is partly just bad habits because, you know, mm -hmm. like another habit, bad habit I have is I, I rarely ever do perception checks. Oh, I never do. It's like my secret yeah. attack to hit every trap that ever existed. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually I've even in one of my solo war bands I have, I actually have a guy dedicated to just triggering traps. Like if I'm like, all right, let's see if that room's clear. Just run them around real quick and. He usually uh, ends up getting a lot of debuffs by the end of it, but it's fine. It's what he's there for. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. I mean, you're you're in the city of the damned. You know, you kind of signed up for this, right? This isn't what. Oh wait, yeah, wait, it was. <laughs> right, right, right. Always forget about that. Yeah, it's always funny in movies when you have the, like the. The, the trope in movies of the soldiers saying like I didn't sign up for this shit or something like, like that. Well, and what then, did you sign up yeah. for exactly? Well, actually, this is exactly the you know this usually this is kind of exactly what you signed up for, but all 
I guess uh, who, who am I to argue? I don't know. So, uh, you've we've each played three matches, uh, yes. right? Yes. All right. Uh, so far, what has been the length of your matches up to this point? Um, mine have been, uh, I'd say probably forty-five minutes to maybe around an hour. Mm -hmm. It tends to my yeah. my AI, AI matches tend to be pretty consistently something like um, I don't know thirty to forty-five minutes on average. Some are like. 20 minutes and I just totally steamroll them and sometimes they're mm. really far away or put up a good fight and it's more like 45 minutes or an hour. Um, the story missions are always super long. Oh yeah. Like crazy. It's like it's like two episodes worth easy like hour and a half. Even when I always do it like 500 warband rating over leveled and it still is hard to like get it done in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, partly just those, those, some of the story missions are massive, the levels, I should say. Like, some of the levels are massive, particularly the for the human mercenaries, the uh, library. I don't remember the name of it, but the library one. We yep, the that's, the, that's the next one I've got coming up, and I'm not uh, looking forward to it, because I hate that map. I hate it so much. Uh, it was... <laughs> it, it was brutal. It took me two or three attempts to complete it. Um, the, oh, really? first, the first time was partly just because I kind of like I, I didn't, I w didn't know what to expect because mm -hmm. uh, I had never played it. And then the second time, I was like a lot better prepared. But I, I don't remember. I'm trying to think. I'm, I can't remember if I failed the second time or not. I don't remember if it took me two or three tries. But on my second attempt, I almost, I know on the, uh, the whatever attempt it was that I actually succeeded, uh, and I completed the mission. I almost, I almost failed because I almost routed, but I was just barely able to get. Uh, get my guys out or complete the objective rather yep. and i had like two or three guys who were like one hit away from from being taken out of action that would have tipped me over to probably failing a route test i was able to run them away mm -hmm. oh you're right there are you ho ho i i have a feeling someone has found my archers i've got my secret ways Mm -hmm. My Pretty sneaky, scape. my sneaky scaven ways. Exactly. Um, I, I was curious about asking the length of the, the matches that you've had against so far in the league, uh, probably because like I, uh, my first game with Praskus was only like thirty minutes long, but it was like like I said, it was particularly short. It was over real fast. Uh, and then my one against Smart Trigger, which I think is kind of like what I expect to be more of an average length. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of guessing was about like I, I can't recall if it was like 45 minutes I'd say it was around there and then my game against Mook uh, that was particularly like that was a lot that, that I think that was like over an hour um, but okay. that was just because of the kind of the way the match went it kind of like towards the end it was kind of a bit of a stalemate so it, it went on a little bit longer than what I think matches would will normally go but uh, I'm kind of curious because they don't currently have in the game a uh, like an like a spectator mode or an observer mode. Right. I don't think. Um, I was kind of curious because I was kind of thinking about it. I, I have uh, I do a bit of streaming uh, from time to time for mm -hmm. uh, another uh, little little game, kind of indie game, Mountain Blade Warband, uh, and I do streams for competitive matches in it. And I, I thought it. I think Mordheim could probably be a game that could potentially have the same kind of value to it uh, yeah you know particularly from a competitive standpoint because um, I, I think the matches wouldn't be super long like you know kind of based off what you've you've said and kind of my own experience i definitely think that matches against human opponents would will on average be around an hour and an hour is not particularly long for a competitive match uh mm -hmm. in terms of like for view viewing purposes for sure yeah so i know um this isn't really an ideal solution and i only found out about it kind of recently but steam has a built-in um streaming function that all oh, right pe people can request to watch and i think you can invite people but the problem is is you have to be steam friends and so there's there's some mm -hmm. limitations you can't just kind of put it out into the into the interwebs and say hey guys watch this if it's interesting to you you know you you have to kind of have that connection beforehand um so in that regard it's kind of not as good as something like twitch or youtube gaming 
Um, mm -hmm. But I think that there's, I mean, personally, I think that there's a lot of potential for Mordheim as a, a PvP type game. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we? Right Which is one of the main f f focuses of this league is to do a bit of experimentate experimentation yeah. with that idea. And see and, what's what's viable and what's reasonable. Yep. Because uh, I definitely think it would be interesting to get uh, kind of matches streamed with, you know, uh, commentators. But also I think uh, the key thing would be to have, and this would be the difficult part, is to have a, uh, and of course this would require a update by the developers, but it would, and I'm not sure how you would do it, but you would need some sort of spectator mode that allowed for like easy viewing so that you know the people doing the streaming could swap for and basically see the see from everyone's perspective you know kind of as you know like a general spectator mode or observer mode in most games are yep yep yeah i, I think it's um like you said it would require a bit of an overhaul uh but so i a little bit of my history with mordheim i played the uh the tabletop probably a dozen years ago Mm -hmm. And I always thought, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's a Games Workshop um, uh, specialty title that they pulled the plug on after I mean, whatever it was 10 years ago or eight yeah. years ago, they, they stopped support on it, um, which is a shame because I love that. I love the tabletop game so much. And I mm -hmm. always thought to myself, how rad would it be if they made this into a computer game? It seems perfect. And, uh, and so when I found out that, that Rogue Factor was making this, I uh, bought it on the first day of early access, and I've been playing it <laughs> since then. Um, so I, I think it's great, and I think that there's a lot of potential for PvP. Um, we'll see as we get further into the league if balancing is kind of weird and doesn't really work, or if it's okay. Uh, I mm -hmm. think it should be sort of okay. And we're, we're kind of taking pains to... Um, we're kind of taking pains to keep things even you know we're not we're not getting too far ahead with our matches and all that yeah so i mean i don't know <laughs> we'll see but i'm i'm hopeful uh same here i'm definitely fingers crossed for that because i think it really like as you said i think it would if it is viable i think it is would be a lot of fun to have a you know have a competitive scene to it but um, I, I do know, I believe, uh, Braskis, I don't remember, actually, I think it was Braskis mentioned to me, uh, that you had, I believe, uh, was it you or Mook who had actually ha had gotten in touch with the developers with Rogue Factory and had, uh, mentioned about the idea of kind of having a turn, like a competitive PvP mode that kind of removed the, sh uh, uh, shipment requests. Yep, yep, um, I, I did... I have been talking with the devs. Ooh, you got black powder, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Um, I have been kind of talking with the devs uh, throughout the process of early access. Um, mm -hmm. And that's been really cool, too. They've been super duper responsive. Um, and it's it's a little bit different now that the game is released and not in early access anymore. But uh, I have full faith in, in their support of the game. Um, I think that it can survive... What are you doing, little noodly things over there? Sneaking a boot? <laughs> I think it can survive even with the Wordstone shipments. I think it makes it harder, but I think it's still possible. Yeah, and definitely so far the league hasn't been going long enough to test that. And fingers, I know, like I said, fingers crossed, I'm hoping that it is able to, because obviously, uh, you know, it's always difficult uh, once a game is fully released. Obviously, it's not impossible, but it definitely can be difficult to oh, have oh, kind of oh. updates for the. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm lagging a bit behind. There we go. Ooh, nice. Good job, whoever that archer was. <laughs> Golf clap for you. Um. Yeah, my game's stuttering a bit, so I apologize for that in the recording because it's been being a little bit choppy. Okay. I usually haven't had this problem. Hopefully it's not an issue for you. Let me keep me posted if it becomes problematic. Mm -hmm. So far, it hasn't uh, affected the gameplay at all. It's just at certain points it kind Ooh, of miss lagged a bit, and I'm not sure if that'll be ideal for the video. Ooh. All right. 
Mm, I don't like all these archers, my friend. So I played against, um, I think it was Arctic. In a, in a, I don't know if you're familiar with the Gentlemen of Mordheim group. Uh, I have heard of them. Okay. Uh, so they, especially in early access, they hosted a bunch of tournaments. Um, and by a bunch, it was about one, one monthly. Uh, and I played up against a guy who ran, it was a, a rank 10, might've been rank zero, but, uh, he had all black powder and he would do a huge black powder alpha strike. And then he would come in for the, uh, for the assist with, he, you know, he'd switch to melee after that. And it was just mm -hmm. devastating. It was, I had to hug cover because it's like, what do you do against a huge <laughs> pile of black powder? Like that was, so in early access, you could have 10 guys and, mm -hmm. uh, and he did. And they all had black powder. It was just like, you know, yeah. everyone's in overwatch. What do you even do? I actually, that was a bit of, I rushed that. I meant to fire at the guy on the stairs that's engaged with my other archer, but that was a mistake on my part because I was I didn't play close enough attention. I kind of rushed through that. Mm -hmm. So, mistake there. I mean, not too bad. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to complain. I got a hit, and a hit is a hit, but. Ooh. I saw a target pop up. I don't know where from. Oh. Well, hello oh, there. There you are <laughs> on the other side of the cart. Don't mind me. I can shoot your feet. I don't need my feet. That's okay. I don't <laughs> I need them. To just scutter along. I know. My movement is too high, so, like, shots to the feet. That's okay. Man, you are really laying on the, the archers here. Yeah. Um, it's. Are you, it, worked well against well i got lucky against smart trigger uh but then and actually against big mook even though i did lose it still in principle it worked pretty well uh now brascus the uh, the game was over so quickly that i couldn't position my guys i didn't have enough time to position my archers properly uh and yep, in this yep. one my archers are probably not gonna uh, my archers aren't gonna have a rough time of it over here these two guys but I, i'm testing the viability of having a lot of ranged early on because uh Early range early on can kind of be a little tricky, and that's why I'm using the bows right now because they're right. far more accurate than the black powder early on while the guy, everyone's still low level. So, yep, black powder is definitely more of a late game delicacy, yeah. Which, uh, you know, assuming all of these guys make it through and level up enough, uh, I'd definitely be switching to black powder. <laughs> so, I'm looking Man, forward I can't to believe having you, that. you got that stun off on me, that was a bummer. On my yeah, that's uh, I, I think that's that archer. I believe I think it's the same guy has been quite hot. It's not good, not good. That was really Sergeant bad. Sergeant Frazier. Here okay. comes the rebuke. Smack him over the head a bit. Frazier versus Savage. <laughs> Smack him again. And then, that'll be it. Come on, archers. Use your daggers. <laughs> Use thy dagger. Unfortunately, this is not... I, I've mentioned this in several episodes now. I have one of my three archers has a mace. The other two only have daggers. Uh, Huzzah, dodge fail. Ooh. Yeah, that's not... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, couldn't quite get you. It was close. It was real close. Uh, I got lucky there because at least uh, I, I'm I'm lucky because I'm on the stairs and no one else can get to me, so I don't have to worry about getting finished off this round. So I will get one more attack in. Unfortunately, um, uh, the other archer is gonna go down as well. Oh man, bad rolls oh. for me. I I'm okay with them. I'm I know. Okay so far. <laughs> I'm getting my Skaven comeuppance here. There's Ooh. a good hit. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, a bad idea. I, I should not have sent Sergeant Fraser over here, but he might be able to make it okay. All right. You've got an awful lot of range support going on here, too. Yep. I'm going to try and bring some more to bear. 
I'm a rat, not a bear. <laughs> Gonna bring some more to rat then. There. Oh, okay. There you go. Some more black powder to the rats. Oh, I can't. I can't get in. <laughs> That's too bad. I didn't have enough movement. I was hoping I could get over and uh, so, kind of force, perhaps maybe force an all alone check. Yeah, for sure. Oh, gift of savagery. Oh no. Well, uh, I didn't get my attack, but I did get Gift of Savagery. That sucks. My charge was uh, interrupted by the by the trap. Yeah, that's never fun when that happens. Traps are my arch nemesis. <gasps> oh, good. Miss on an 80%. Come on, guys. You're not supposed to be missing that. RNG, this oh. is... Yes! Oh, that was bad on my part. Good, good. I... RNG, this has given me a, a brief respite here to keep it an interesting match. Yep. Ah, I screwed up there. I, I clicked. I accidentally clicked through too fast. That's the main thing. I, I am. I can. I tend to be a little bit fidgety sometimes, and that can has that kind of came back to bite me there. Uh, by the way, is is that a halberd or a spear? This is. Let me tell you for sure. Um, obviously, it's a Skaven version of either it's a, halberd. It's a halberd. It's okay. a halberd. Because the Skaven spears look kind of like they have kind Come of on, more baby. of a blade to them. Yes, there it no, is. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. <laughs> new round has started. It's still anyone's game for sure. No! Oh, oh what happened? Did you click through? Uh, I Yeah, I clicked through. That was bad. <laughs> well, that might that might cost me the game. Okay, luckily, hey. I, I get you, get the you get the counter. You get the counter. And I miss, so watch me miss this one too. Nope, nope there it is. There he goes down, but. Oh, that was really bad on my part. Yeah, that was me just being too quick. I, uh. I cycled through too fast. Gotta step back here and t take a take a breath to. Focus back in and not not have more repeats of that, because. Yep. That, that right there, that uh, failed, that click through on him and then the. Uh, Archer may have may end up costing me the match, but we shall see. It's one if you're so the thing about archers is it's it's hard for me to get up to you, but once I'm on you, it yeah. can be it can be hard to kind of switch back to melee and and do that. Definitely. Okay, big hit, two handers. That was, that's going to be tough. He might go down here. We'll see. Nope. I almost accidentally clicked disengage. That would have been bad. That would have been not real bad. I, not what I wanted. This is okay. what I wanted. Do you have another attack? Yes. Uh, one more. Miss, please. 85%. Miss, please. Oh, he's down. Okay. Okay. I can't really expect anything different. Not out of it yet. Man, look at that morale. That's beautiful. Time to run away. <laughs> run away, run away. Bravely run away. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Bravely yep. ran away. He was not afraid to die. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a blast with the... Oh, weeping poison. Woot. All alone fail. Good, good rolls. Jeez. I've been having a lot of fun with this league so far because it's so much more intense than, than the AI matches ever are. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Even on Deadly, it's like they're beefy, but they're not that smart. Exactly. That's definitely a big. They still spread out, and oh. you can and you can chop them up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Especially as you get more experience and just pl the more you play, the easy, you know, and you become more experienced and get better at the game. It definitely becomes a lot, a lot less challenging against the AI. Except on the the story missions, I will say I, I've. So far, I haven't completed all the story missions yet for the, even just the human mercenaries, and I haven't played any other ones besides the humans. Um, but I, I will say that the story missions, they've been so thus far, I'm about, I think the last one I did was at, actually the library. But so far, I, I am glad to say that they've been able to keep the story missions fairly uh, challenging. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because they're, the odds are very, you know, very much stacked against you. All right, I'm taking a bit of a gamble here. 
no, 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 no. Where did you go? Where did you go? Uh, nowhere in particular. I'd like holding my breath that you don't find him. Oh, no. Or at least you don't have enough. Aha! Don't be able to get in. Aha! No. Oh, no. I see you now. I <gasps> miss you now. Oh. I decided to just go for your archer, and then I saw you right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's what we call overkill. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if morale can... Yeah, I, I think this is going to fail. This is good. This is shaping up to a very, very quick game. Partly because uh, I I definitely think... Um, obviously, partly 2020 hindsight, but I definitely think I would... My deployment could have... I, I could have done a better job with my deployment. That mm -hmm. definitely can uh, make a big difference. I... I shouldn't have had my two archers all alone over there. I should have put either my captain or my young blood over with them. Uh, but I kind of, I, I always keep forgetting to do it. Well, because, well, I guess to be fair, I wasn't sure that you were going to be closer to that group than the other one. Yep. But and you know what? Your deployment is hard because you're spread around me, whereas I'm kind of all in the mm -hmm. middle. So I got to just, I don't think you have eyes on this. I got to just say, I, I swiped your bow from that guy I just took down. <laughs> <laughs> but then I ran over to your cart and I want to steal your idol. And so I put the bow back in your cart so I could take the <laughs> idol. <laughs> well, that's very kind. Of you. That's very kind of you giving the bow back. <laughs> but I think I just, okay. So that's, that's the victory. Then right. I got you down to zero morale by stealing yep. the idol. Well, good game. That was, that very was lightning fast. I think this oh, might be in contest. This actually might have been faster than the, my game against Brax, Braskus. I've got uh, I've got a, a thirty minute runtime, just about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's real close to the time against Braskus. Maybe even a little bit shorter. But well, good game. That was that good was a lot of for fun. Sure. That was say, definitely fun. I didn't know where you were, so I got a light wound on my uh, from that crit on my leader. Two days recovery. All right. Fantastic. Um, we can through to mine. Check the. the I think damage. I lifted one bow off of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, permanent injuries. My henchman is dead. Oh. <laughs> so, we won, but at what cost? Yeah. Well, rats are cheap these days, huh? <laughs> as as they always are. Oh, yes. Getting stronger. Ooh, that's not good. Mysterious ailment on my young blood. Is that a uh, minus to toughness? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, the warrior's base wound value is reduced by ten. So I think I got, um, I picked up some warp lock pistols, which I think were on the map. I got five wordstone fragments and a longbow, which I think I snagged from you. Alrighty. Uh, my one archer had amnesia, so he lost some experience points. That's actually not, like, I'll take that over anything else that's not too serious. Oh. What happened? Oh, uh, my one archer, Thomas Plunkett, lost an arm. Ooh. Well, that's well, going to be retiring to you. That's going to be a retirement for you. Either that or, yeah, either the retirement package or a meat shield. Yeah, no, I think I'm probably going to just have to, I, I think I'm going to just have to retire him. Um, not good to have a, ar can't have an archer with one arm. Well, that's not ideal, but, uh, and of course he's the one who, he leveled up too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he'll definitely have to be uh, uh, let go. All right, so... Ah. I let my warband just leveled up, and I got a... So I now have an additional henchman slot. Okay, is that your fourth henchman? Uh, it's my... I, yeah. Okay, yeah, I just fourth. got that as well. I think you get that when you hit rank one as a warband. Yep. So that's pretty good. And hey, look at that. Items acquired a longbow. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> I believe <laughs> someone put this longbow in our cart. It wasn't there before. It was so weird. We just We just showed up, and there it was. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mordheim City of the Damned, our uh, league with my good friend Darren and his warband 33rd of foot. And we will see you next time for more Sweet League action. To get email notifications for all my episodes, hit subscribe, then the gear button, tick the checkbox, and hit save.